Alrighty guys, thank you for joining me today in my living room. <laughs> Why are we in the living room? I'll explain in just a second. My name is Hunter Wilkins, and this is Father and Forge 3D. Alright, so you're joining me in the living room today because I wanted to show you something that I've been working on. Um, this is something that I've been kind of playing with since I got the 3D printer. And I think it was a really neat idea, and I really wanted to try to, to do it better. So, um, these are trusses, basically. And just to give you kind of a, a little bit of a backstory. So, I actually work for a, a company that manufactures aluminum trussing. Um, I'm not going to mention the company just out of respect for them. Uh, however, working there has given me a lot of knowledge about trussing and different engineering aspects of the, the truss that we deal with on a regular basis. So one of the first things I did when I got the 3D printer was I started looking for other truss models online because I thought, well, that would be really cool if I can build some stuff out of truss. Well, the models I found were okay, but they just weren't what I expected. So I thought to myself basically, how can I do this better? How can I implement some of the, the technologies and features that we use on our truss? And how can I adapt that to a small little silly toy version basically? <laughs> but even though this is a toy version, um, you can do a lot of cool stuff with it. And I'm gonna show you something in just a little bit that'll, that'll uh, give you an example of, of some of the stuff that you could do with this. Okay, so that being said, what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna show you how this clip system works because I have uh, two different size clips that we're going to be using and those will allow us to actually connect these different pieces of truss together and make different structures. Now just to be clear if you follow the link down in the description to the Colts 3D page where you can find these models um, these are the V2 models so these are optimized for the clip system. Uh, the older models the original files are still on there um, I personally like the look of those a little bit better, but those are more for gluing together and if you're going to do like a big permanent structure, which let me show you. So just as an example, I know this is massive, but this is a basically a shelf I'm building that goes underneath my printer shelf my, and uh, it's basically just going to be a rack that I can put some bins on and everything. Now these cost a ridiculously uh, small amount of material. To, uh, to print so and I print these at like 10% infill so it uses even less material so it's crazy the time frame is pretty fast for these um, the connection system works pretty well and it's a pretty solid nice solid system now, these are all glued together so what I'm gonna be showing you today is how the clip system works if you wanted to build something that's not permanent so let's I'm gonna move the camera and let's get into that. Okay, so I've got my clips separated out and we're gonna go ahead and start putting some of this together. So these are the cubes. Um, I use these for corners and then you have the regular truss sections. These are 100, cent or, uh, 100 millimeters long, so 10 centimeters. So we are going to go ahead and start clipping these and I'm not gonna lie, these can be a little tricky to get these clips on but they hold really nicely and they work pretty well when you get them on properly. If you're having trouble getting them on, you can use a little like screwdriver or something just to kind of help pop them on. Um, that's something that I do. These are very, very tight. Uh, these are a little even actually these are looser than the old ones so the old ones were actually even harder to put on so I modified them a little bit just to make them a little bit easier but they are still very tight but the whole point is to give you a good connection so if, if you didn't have that tightness this whole thing would be pointless anyway so I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna do four just like this basically with one clip on each side on top and I only have two clips on each right now for the sake of this demonstration um, so if anybody I did end up breaking 
I broke two of them. So print extra when you do this, it's definitely gonna be beneficial in the long in the long run. But again, you want those nice and tight so you get a nice secure to neck connection. So um, that's that part. So now we're gonna go in and start doing our our cross member. I wasn't paying attention to my configuration, so I ended up I did put those clips in the wrong spot. Actually, I ran out of clips. I broke a couple clips and I, I didn't realize I didn't print enough to complete this whole design. But basically this is would be like this, this, here, and then you just have your other cross members right there and you can build like a little four section by four section frame. Um, so these are the diagonals, if you can see that. Those are the diagonal pieces, so they're a little bit bigger. Um, so those would go from the truss to the truss and then anything else basically can either go truss to truss or truss to cube uh, The way that these V2 models are designed. So see you can get a pretty solid Connection. I should probably have one more clip right here, but That's really all you need right there <clears throat> And then these can be taken off as well pretty easily. So Again with your, your screwdriver or whatever tool you're using to kind of help you pop those clips on you can kind of just pop them off like that. If you're having a lot of trouble, you can try and you, you're, maybe your PLA is a little bit more brittle than others or something. You can actually um, like warm the clips up a little bit with a lighter or something uh, just to kind of make them a little bit more pliable and less prone to, to breaking. So that's always an option. But I'm just kind of showing you right now that, that these can be taken off and put on. Uh, it's not impossible. So I just wanted to make sure that I showed that and demonstrated that it does actually function and you can use the clips that are designed. Um, they're, they're tough, I'm not gonna lie, but they work. You can see right there that that, that is a, a solid, viable connection point and you could build basically whatever it is you want with that. Okay, so that's basically it. I just wanted to show you this these models that I came up with for, for trussing and uh, kind of show why I think that they're a little bit better. Uh, I, I'm not gonna go over all the details because I don't want people to just copy it, but um, the way that I, I kind of thought about how the printer itself works when I designed how these print, um, I've tried a couple of other variations, but these work really, really well and print without supports. Uh, you do have a little bit of bridging when you get to the top at these top horizontal sections. Um, but like all I do is after it's done printing, I'll just come in with a lighter and then a little needle file and just kind of clean that up. And this one, I honestly, I didn't even clean that up that well when I'm, now that I'm looking at it, but um, that's it. So that's a really cool system, I think. Uh, I'd really appreciate it if uh, anybody with a 3D printer or any knowledge on 3D printing, check it out. Leave me a, a comment on the on Cult 3D or shoot me a message on Instagram, whatever, if you try it. I'd love to see pictures of stuff that you build with it. Um, I think it'd be really cool. Whether you glue it or clip it, whichever way, whichever is the V1 or the V2 models, whatever. I'll take any kind of feedback I can get on it. Um, but they are, I am charging for them just simply because I'm, I'm not making any money off of anything else that I'm, that I'm doing. So I put the price at $3. I think that's fair. You get a full system that I am continually working on and updating. I'm gonna be coming out with different attachments and stuff as well. I'm not gonna go into the full details yet. Again, I don't want people to kind of copy everything that I'm trying to do here, but there's gonna be some, uh, some uh, additions to this, definitely. So. That's that. That being said, uh, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. I can't tell you how much that means to me enough. Um, if you're not following me on Instagram, check me out on Instagram. I've got a lot of cool stuff going on there right now. I'm actually in the middle of prototyping some other 3D printed stuff um, for potentially, there's one, one project I'm working on that's potentially could be used for a game. So I'm, I'm, there's a lot of work going into that right now between me and a couple other people. So um, that's, that's it. Again, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video.